right friends welcome back to this question and answers part 1 of this 14th week starting from 30th march to 5th april let us look at the first question interest rates in sukanya samruddhi account scheme from april 1 2015 will be what is this sukanya samruddhi account scheme all of us are well aware this sukanya samruddhi account scheme is for girl child account can be opened within the age group of 0 to 10 years for the girl child full maturity at the age of 21 years for the girl child and partial withdrawal is possible after the girl child attains 18 years please don't forget these things this sukanya samruddhi account scheme recently government revised the interest rates from april 1 2015 and at present the interest rate is 9.2% for the year 2015 16 let us look at the interest rates of uh, other schemes senior citizen saving scheme that is a five year senior citizen saving scheme 9.3% please don't forget the highest interest rate among all these saving schemes is a five year senior citizen savings scheme 9.3% sukanya samruddhi account scheme 9.2% five year national saving certificate 8.5% 10 year national saving certificate 8.8% and public provident fund account 8.7% please don't forget public provident fund account is for 15 years duration right friends look into the next one rbi stated that sdls for april june quarter will be in the range of rupees 45000 to rupees 55000 crore what is sdl sdl is a state development loan both the central government as well as the state governments borrow from the market borrowed money from the market when central governments borrow money from the market that is a true issue of treasury bills or dated securities treasury bills or dated securities are popularly known as gsex the maximum period for government dated security when central government is borrowing from market is 30 years sdl means state development loan this is borrowing by state governments from market borrowing by state governments from market and here the maximum tenure is 10 years only this difference please don't forget and the central government's borrowing program for the entire year is rupees 6 lakh crores as per the budget please don't forget these figures and when you come back to this question this sdl means state development loan basically state governments borrowing from market and this borrowing is undertaken by rbi only right friends sidb small industries development bank of india has signed 543 million dollar loan pact with world bank recently recently sidb small industries development bank of india signed an agreement with the world bank for 543 million dollar deal that is 500 million dollars for startups that means for the firms who are starting afresh 500 million dollars is for startup firms that means the new firms and 43 million dollars is for energy efficiency projects 43 million dollar is for energy efficiency projects look into the next one the premium under pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana recently announced in the budget and this is open for individuals between 
एटीन टू फिफ्टी इयर्स प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट प्रधानमंत्री जीवन ज्योति बीमा योजना इज इंश्योरेंस स्कीम इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ एटीन टू फिफ्टी इयर्स हिय इफ समवन डाइस वॉट एवर द रीजन ही विल गेट रुपीज टू लैक एंड द प्रीमियम हियर इज प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी रुपीज पर एन एम द प्रीमियम अंडर प्रधानमंत्री जीवन ज्योति बीमा योजना इज रुपीज थ्री थर्टी पर एन एम प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट देर इज एन अदर प्रोग्राम दट इज प्रधानमंत्री सुरक्षा बीमा योजना दट वॉज ऑल्सो अनाउंस्ड इन द बजेट एंड द प्रीमियम देर इज रुपीज ट्वेल्व दट इज फॉर एक्सीडेंटल इंश्योरेंस फॉर एक्सीडेंटल इंश्योरेंस द प्रीमियम इज रुपीज ट्वेल्व पर एन एम फॉर लाइफ इंश्योरेंस द प्रीमियम इज थ्री थर्टी पर एन एम एंड लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कवर्स एटीन टू फिफ्टी इयर्स एज ग्रुप इफ समन डाइज ही विल गेट रुपीज टू लैक इन प्रधानमंत्री सुरक्षा बीमा योजना इफ समन डाइज बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सीडेंट ही विल गेट रुपीज टू लैक राइट प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट दिस फिगर्स हियर द प्रीमियम इज रुपीज थ्री थर्टी एंड फॉर सुरक्षा बीमा योजना द प्रीमियम इज रुपीज ट्वेल्व पर एन एम look at the next one andhra pradesh cabinet took a decision to name the capital city of andhra pradesh as amravati amravati please don't confuse with a town near nagpur in the vidarbha region of maharashtra exists in the same name but this amravati is different this amravati is on the banks of river krishna famous buddhist pilgrim center and This is close to Vijayawada city, and capital city is going to come up for Andhra Pradesh on the banks of River Krishna, around 15 kilometers from Vijayawada city. And the name, as per the cabinet decision, is famous Buddhist pilgrim center that is Amaravati. So Andhra Pradesh capital will be Amaravati, the historical center, and. A place called Dhanya Kataka near Amaravati was the capital around 2000 years ago. Now the same place became capital of Andhra Pradesh state. Look into the next one. RIL Reliance Industries Limited has recently signed production sharing contracts with MOGE. MOGE is nothing but Myanmar Oil and Gas Enterprise. so mogi belongs to myanmar so reliance industries is going to develop oil fields in myanmar please don't forget 10000 tons of rice has been sent from andhra pradesh to tripura 10000 tons of rice was sent by utilizing ashoganj river port in bangladesh the distance becomes nearer otherwise they have to go around through land route by utilizing the river port facility of bangladesh that is ashuganj river port recently rice was sent from andhra pradesh to tripura it reduced the distance drastically and it is mutual cooperation between bangladesh and india please don't forget ashuganj river port is in bangladesh name the british physicist who is set to trademark his name trademarking the names so far jk rowling famous writer famous soccer player david beckham these two have already trademarked their names if people trademark their names no one else can use their name and they will have exclusive right over using the name so trademarking the name recently this trend started and stephen hawking british physicist who is down with the motor neuron disease for several years now applied for trademark so that no one else can use his name without his permission right look into the next one name the river which caused the devastating floods in srinagar once again after 6 months that is the jhelum river it caused extensive damage long back but again now because of its floods 
serious damage has occurred in Srinagar city recently. Friends, look into the next one. Name the state which is planning to start excavation in search of mythical river Saraswati. We all know about the Triveni Sangam. Triveni Sangam is the confluence of Ganga, Jamuna and Saraswati. Ganga and Jamuna rivers physically exists and their confluence is Triveni Sangam near Allahabad. This third river is Saraswati. Physically it is not visible and as per the legend, this river exists and now Haryana government recently decided to start excavation in search of this mythical river Saraswati. The place is Adibhadri in Haryana. The answer here is Haryana. Look into the next one. Name the state which banned manufacture, storage and distribution of all tobacco related products like Gutka, Pan Masala and Khara. These products were banned recently by Delhi. We discussed last week that Maharashtra recently made selling of tobacco related products like Pan Masala or Ghutka will be non-bailable offence. Now Delhi government banned manufacture, storage and distribution of tobacco related products. Look into the next one. Who won the 17th edition of the Malaysian Grand Prix held at Sepang in Malaysia? What is this Malaysian Grand Prix? This is nothing but car racing, where cars will race up to 360 kilometers per hour. And recently, in the 17th edition of Malaysian Grand Prix held at Sepang in Malaysia, Sebastian Vettel in his Ferrari won the tournament. Sebastian Vettel, by using his Ferrari vehicle, won the tournament. Please don't forget. Look into the next one. Increase in freight traffic of Indian Railways came into existence on April 1, 2015. We all very well know, railway budget was presented in the month of February and the budgetary provisions normally applicable from 1st April. From 1st April, you should not forget, advanced reservation time for train reservations increased from 60 days to 120 days. Second thing is platform ticket increased from rupees 5 to rupees 10. Third thing is no change in the passenger fares. They were not touched in the budget, but some freight rates were increased. And as per the budget documents, the tariff increase of grains, pulses and urea is 10% and they came into existence from 1st April 2015. Please remember, during the year 2015-16, the freight target for 2015-16 is 1186 million tons. Please don't forget this figure. The freight target of Indian Railways for the year 2015-16 is 1186 million tons. Look into the next one. MV Kavarati and MV Coral were sent to Djibouti to evacuate the Indians stranded in Yemen. We have already discussed in the lecture part. Indians were evacuated by passenger ships, by naval ships, by air. Like that, India evacuated Indians stranded in Yemen and for that purpose, two passenger carrying ships, MV Kavarati and MV Coral, these passenger carrying ships used to travel between Kochi and Kavarati. Kochi and Kavarati, these used to travel. Government of India sent these two motor vehicles to ferry passengers from strife torn Yemen. Right, friends, look at the next one. Dharnai is considered to be one of the first solar villages in the country. It is in Dharnai, the solar village was developed with the help of Greenpeace organization and this village is roughly 500 houses and 2500 population 
is in Jahanabad district of Bihar. The answer here is Bihar. Dharnai village is considered to be one of the first solar powered villages in the country and this village is in Jahanabad district of Bihar. Please don't forget. Two-day national executive meeting of BJP. Bharatiya Janta Party's two-day national executive recently held in Bengaluru. Right? India banned unfreedom. The film. The theme behind the film is homosexuality and Central Board of Film Certification has not given clearance. This film stars Adil Hussain and Victor Banerjee. And this is going to be released in North America. And the director of this film is Raj Amit Kumar. Florida based director Raj Amit Kumar directed this film Unfreedom. India's censor board has not cleared this film. Look into the next one. Bharat Ratna was conferred on Madan Mohan Malaviya by the president of the country. And Madan Mohan Malaviya is associated with friends, world famous Banaras Hindu University. Banaras Hindu University is the brainchild of Pandit Madan Mohan Malaviya and he was recently awarded Bharat Ratna Award and his family members received the award. Right? 40 year old A.S. Mountaineer Malli Mastan Babu was founded in the Andes Mountains in Chile. Highly educated Malli Mastan Babu, postgraduate from IIT Kharagpur, left his software job, took mountaineering as his hobby in the year 2006. He entered Guinness Book of Records for scaling all seven peaks in seven different continents in 172 days. In the year 2006, he entered Guinness Book of Records for scaling all seven peaks in seven different continents in the world in 172 days. And recently, when he was in a mountaineering trip in Andes Mountains in Chile, because of inclement weather, Unfortunately, he lost his life. He is from Andhra Pradesh, right? Name the former Union Minister of State for Coal, whose assets worth approximately rupees 2 crore were attached by the Enforcement Directorate. He is former Union Minister for Coal, Dasari Narayana Rao, and recently Enforcement Directorate attached properties worth rupees 2 crore, right? Look into the next one. DRDO of India and MBDA of France will develop short range surface to air missile. DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization of India and MBDA of France, which is primarily into development of missiles, will develop short range surface to air missile which takes off from surface and hits the target in the air. The name of the project is, please don't forget, Maitri. Friends, next one. Upgradation of 10 Kamo 28 anti-submarine helicopters of Indian Navy will be taken up at a cost of 297 million euro. 297 million euro and please don't forget, this Kamo group of helicopters were manufactured by Russia and India procured these helicopters from the then USSR in 1970s and 80s. Now, they are upgrading these helicopters at a cost of 297 million euro. Look at the next one. Name the country where a blogger Ashikar Rahman Babu was murdered in broad daylight. Hardly a month ago, a blogger Avijit Roy was murdered and now Ashikar Rahman Babu was murdered. The country we are talking about is Bangladesh and it raises several questions with regard to the freedom of speech and expression in Bangladesh. Friends, look at the next one. Name the country which is going to polls on May 7. 
it is nothing but the united kingdom united kingdom is going to polls on may 7 labor party and conservative party are the two main parties in the united kingdom right and the present prime minister is contesting once again right look into the next one national investigation agency nia filed a charge sheet against 21 people in a conspiracy by Jamaatul Mujahideen Bangladesh. This Jamaatul Mujahid, Mujahideen is a Bangladesh group. Recently, Bardhaman blasts occurred. Bardhaman is a place in West Bengal. In connection with Bardhaman blast, recently, National Investigation Agency filed a charge sheet against 21 people in a conspiracy by Jamaatul Mujahideen and these Bardhaman blasts occurred in West Bengal. Right, look into the next one. 16 people were killed when a landslide brought down the house at Ladon village in Badgaum district. 16 people were killed. When a landslide brought down houses at Ladon village in Badgaon district of, the answer here is Jammu and Kashmir. Because of heavy rain and landslides, recently 16 people lost their lives. This village is in Jammu and Kashmir. Friends, look at the next one. Name the state, very unfortunate, where hidden cameras were found in the changing room when the Union Human Resource Development Minister visited a shopping mall. When Smriti Juban Irani visited the shopping mall, that is the Fab India Mall in Goa, during her visit to Goa, hidden cameras were found in the changing room and subsequently police registered cases. Look into the next one. From April 1, India Post discontinued the traditional money order money order, sending by filling up forms from one place to other place by physically transporting that form, by physically sending that form to one place to other place became a history now. But instant money order and electronic money order still exist. There is no problem of sending money. Instant money order is there. Electronic money order is there. You can send money from one place to other place. But this traditional money order of filling up the form and sending the form physically from one place to other place was discontinued from April 1, 2015 and this traditional money order was started in the year 1880. Was started in the year 1880 but some newspapers gave the figure, gave the years as 81 and 82. Please don't confuse. As per the authentic report, I took this as 1880. Right, friends? Two suspected semi escapees. Semi is Students Islamic Movement of India. Students Islamic Movement of India. The organization was found in 1977 at Aligarh in Uttar Pradesh. Subsequently, government banned this organization. And the question here is, Two suspected semi escapees were killed by police in Nalgonda district of Telangana recently. Two semi escapees from some jail, they were found in Telangana region and in an encounter, they were killed by Telangana police recently. Look at the next one. Three school teachers of Jawahar Navodaya, Jawahar Navodaya Vijjalaya were arrested for allegedly molesting 55 girl students at the Babulgaon in Akola district of Maharashtra. This Navodaya Vijjalai is situated in Babulgaon area in Akola district of Maharashtra and unfortunate incident occurred because of that three school teachers were arrested recently. Friends, look at the next one. 24th Sultan Azlan Shah Cup tournament is being held at Ipo. This is for hockey, don't forget. This tournament was started in the name of 9th King of Malaysia and at present it is being held every year. 
it is men's hockey tournament right look at the next question in malaysian open badminton semi finals saina nehwal last two leagues rai in this malaysia open badminton semi finals saina nehwal lost the match in the semi finals two leagues rai and finally in the finals Carolina Marin of Spain defeated the Leeds Rai to win the championship. So please don't forget, Saina Nehwal lost this match in the semi-finals, and subsequently Saina Nehwal came to world's number two position from number one position. Right, friends? Let us wind up this part one of question and answers. Do join for uh, second part. Have a nice day. Thank you.